What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back bringing you guys the main story finale on my playthrough on Pokemon Legend Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we made our way to the top of the Mount Sinnoh Temple and we actually captured our legendary Palkia. And in today's video, we're going to be making our way back up to the top and finishing off the main story. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. But we make our way back towards the little front gate to make our way towards the, uh, what is it called? The, bu -bu 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 the, the Coronet Highlands. That's exactly what I'm trying to think. And Kagi is over here being like, blah, 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 blah. You got to bring Palkia. Yeah. So we have to actually go put Palkia inside our lovely party in order to make our way towards the final mission. So she's going to kick us out and you can actually head over here to this little farm lady and you can switch your Pokemon from here. Usually you switch your Pokemon. Wait a minute. There's a combi right here. How adorable that thing is. <laughs> oh, yo, Sfuel. I think oh, some of these are my Pokemon. I think most of these are my Pokemon that just hang out in here, which is pretty funny. So Pokemon that you call, I'm pretty sure, just hang out in the pastures right there. But usually when you're in the uh, area or like a wild area, usually change your Pokemon with the people. But if you're in Jubilee Town or Jubilee Village, you can actually change your Pokemon here. So we got Palkia. I am going to actually switch it out for my lovely Sligo because Palkia is Dragon type. And Palkia's got a great at earth power aqua tail hydro pump and space run level 65 come on yo gonna be a great addition to the team but yeah you cannot move forward in this uh main story until you put that legendary in your party so whether you pick the diamond clan you will have the alga or if you pick the pearl clan like myself you will have palkia so you're gonna have to throw it in your party in order to get moving on with that main mission so you put palkia in the party we go back to kagita she's just like blah 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 blah. finally you got palkia you're chilling here and now let's get rolling you're like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I think she leaves, and I feel like we have a battle. I don't know why. I do not know why. I feel like we have a battle for some reason. Someone's going to show up, and they're just going to be like, AOG. One last battle. I feel like it's Akari. I don't know why. I do not know why. If I remember correctly, it says, I'll prepare well, and then uh, head to the thing. Okay, so we can actually head to the Sinnoh Temple one more. It's going to be like, stay safe. We're going to be like, AOG. We head in right here. I should actually head to the other camp. It is what it is. It is what it is. But now that we have Palkia, I actually want to showcase it off just by throwing an XP. This thing's pretty big. Where's Palkia at? Look at this thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All day, baby. Yo, that's a sick picture. Look at that, yo. With the distortion or with the rift behind us. Like, look at that, yo. Actually, I might, I might want to screenshot that. Look at that. Yeah. Let's get a little bit of screen captures here. That's a sick picture right there. Look at me flexing my knuckles. Yeah. Do, do another call, Palkia. Oh, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. But there it is. I had to grab myself a picture. I threw that out. I was just like, yeah, let me see how big Palkia is. Then I was just like, oh, now we got to hit that screen capture button. That is exactly why Nintendo has it. Exactly why Nintendo has it. But before we actually head up there, I feel like we have to battle people. And uh, so I should have some things crafted. Um, how many potions do I have? Seven, six. I could actually switch some into a uh, hyper potion, which I think I'd rather do. Might as well, right? Might as well. And then we can craft some Pokeballs. I mean, we're 26, 27. We're good. We're chilling here. All right, I'm with it all day. Let's roll out. Onward, jeans. Hop on our ye old trusty weird ear, and we'll get rolling out here. You know, I'm a fiend for mats at all times. Don't get these mats. I'm going to see if I can catch this. Uh, yo, why did I throw out Palkia there? <laughs> he, just, he just tail whips it. Hey, yo, chill on me. Now this thing's going to see me. Yeah, I was going to try to catch it like the most, but you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. Let's throw it back at our Palkia here, because it's hilarious. Look at him. He's like, yeah, give me the berries. Giant, legendary dragon collecting berries. I'd rather give it to like a Pokemon that needs levels like, like Bolt over here. So we'll get that, and then we'll head over to this one. And we'll also get this one, and then we'll be able to head inside. But this episode shouldn't be too, too long. Kind of like the other ones, how they were like hours long. This one shouldn't be as long as the normal ones. Probably, I would say half an hour, if I remember correctly on how long the post-game part is. Or the uh, final part is. But after this, we're going to be doing post-game stuff. Catching legendaries, doing all that good stuff. And the guides are going to continue on the channel. So if you guys have been enjoying the Pokemon Legend Arceus guides, thank you so much. Put some work into those but yeah we're gonna keep be keeping up with them trying to finish up as many guys as i can because there is a lot to do with this game we already did an xp guide we did a man guide shaman dark ride guide what else we do money guide and we did one more starters guide so i just gotta keep up with them keep doing that i would like to do an unknown one I think unknown would be cool. letting you guys know where all the unknown locations are considering that's a huge part of this game you guys are trying to finish up the pokedex you need to know where all the unknown are. that's how you get spirit or is that how you get spirit tomb no, the Wisp are how you get Spear Tomb. Well, maybe I should do a Wisp Guide. Could do that. Could do a lovely little Wisp Guide, but I like the Unknowns ones are it's good, too. Because in order to get Arceus, you need to, uh... I think you need to find all the Unknowns. Which is 
pretty dope pretty dope but there we go back to the top of the Sinnoh temple and it gave us a nice view of that rift Rift looks sick dude. the rift looks sick but i can't look all the way up to see it. i just see like kind of like the laser crack, so. it looks so sick we're almost back up there with commander kamado uh armada and arita which is the pro clan leader of the diamond clan and then our our trusty steed our commander that we beat in last episode he won the battle he kicked us out of the village and then he won the battle and so we gave him a little psh, psh, slapped him up a little bit ripped right through him no problem but dude the temple looks so sick and i have to fight him again I just hit I'm ready to fight, but I think I'm talking about Dialga. I think I'm talking about Dialga because the Dialga fight is amazing. It is so cool. Cannot wait to showcase it to you guys. So dope. So dope. Back to what I was saying about the temple. It is so cool by itself because of the statues. I think the statues are so cool of all the history. But I forget. Uh, somebody was, uh, I think someone was, it was either in the comment section down below or when I was streaming. But somebody let me know down in the comment section down below if this was you. Somebody said they should make a DLC for Sword and Shield where like the Rift comes in and all the Hisuian Pokemon come. I think that would be sick. But we head out here. Dialga's just chilling here. We throw a lovely little Ultra Ball at it. And bop. Big old explosion. And my boy Palkia stands up. Such a sick cutscene. Such a sick cutscene. This is exactly why we need Palkia. Palkia protected us, I think. Right? I think I saw Palkia there last second. Yeah, my boy Palkia protected us. This is why we needed our dude. And, dude, that was a sick cutscene. Look at that picture, too. Dude, like I said, yo, the cutscenes for this, for the legendaries, even back with Palkia, are so sick. This one's cool, too. Hey, look at that, dude. <laughs> look at that. And look at this, guys. The Alga actually changes to its origin form, which is really, really cool. I haven't seen... Well, I know what Palkia looks like, but I haven't seen Palkia change. I'm guessing if you took Dialga, you'll see Palkia, or you'll have to first Origin Palkia. But in this case, we're going to have to first Origin Dialga in a Noble Pokemon battle, which is really, really cool. So, back with the bombs and all that, we're going to have to dodge his attacks. I really like this. I really do like this, uh, this battle right here. We got the Time Bomb, which is sick. Look at this, dude. Look at this. Hey! Oh! You better should save beforehand. Chill on me. Chill on me. I want to dodge the other way. Oh, my God. He's doing a little fire thing. Meteor. Yo, he's dropping Draco Meteors. That's so sick. Look at that. Oh, I gotta roll. Ah! <laughs> Chill on me, Dialga. Chill on me. Dude, he's doing Draco Meter. That's so sick. And I guess his first move was Roar Time. I gotta go this way, because it leaves like a burning impact on the ground. Look at that. Which is pretty tough. Oh, I didn't even see that coming after me. He's doing these. We gotta dive over him. Are you gonna do it again? He is going to die. Or is he gonna keep doing them? And when does he burn out? I'm kind of curious. Keep hitting this thing with the bombs. I keep missing, and this thing's sending another Drake. Oh, lines of Drake on me. That's sick. That is sick. Send it again, and here it comes again. Love how it leaves a burning impact. Dude, this fight is so good. Send another one. He is. Ah! Yo, chill me. This one's gotta disappear. Send another one. Hey! <laughs> Yo, this is nutty. This is nutty. Chill on me, Dialga. Oh! I didn't even see that thing coming from the bottom. Jump over it. Keep jumping over it. We'll jump over again. We almost have this thing in half. We almost have him at half. Got him at half right now. Beautiful. This battle's so good. What's he doing? Another Draco Meteor? What's he doing here? What are you doing? Chill on me. More Draco Meteors coming in, yo. Like I said, yo, this battle is phenomenal. It's so good. E! Chill on me, dude. Keep launching these at him. Oh, we got, we got him right where we want him. We are ripping into him. Oh my god, I just dodged that. I just dodged that. Got him down to like a quarter left. And no, he's doing this thing again. That, that thing throws me off. No, dude, I'm caught in like a weird spot. There we go. I'm one hit. I gotta play this one slow. Can I hit him with this? Keep hitting him. Oh, what is this? Chill on me. Chill on me. What is he doing? Oh, he's doing that. That's pretty nutty. Oh, he's doing another one. Hey! Dip it out. Hit him. Take him out. Send in a Pokemon and do a battle. I could have, but I hit him with the last bomb. So I guess when he does that, he gets burned out. And then he could have sent in a Pokemon, but there we go. Hit him with that last bomb, and we throw the Origin Ball that Professor Laventon made us in the last episode with the uh, Origin Ore. Look at this, yo. We catch Origin the Alpha. So he is now in our party, which is absolutely amazing. But dude, the cutscenes are phenomenal. The cutscenes are so tough in this game. Cannot go wrong with it. Look at that. Yes, sir. Run it up. Run it up. So sick. So sick. So, so cool.
Yeah, I love it. Can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with it. Dun, dun, dun. And the rift is now gone. The distortion is now gone. We have saved the Hisuian region. Jeans and Sunny. That's, that's such a cool picture. That's such a cool picture. Might make that my background on my on my computer. That is such a cool picture all around. But dude, I thought this this thing would take us longer. I thought we had like a battle or two to do. We probably could have fit this in on the last episode. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. Probably could have fit this in in the last episode. That's, I thought we had a few battles to do, a few Pokemon battles that my boy Palkia was gonna slap up on. That's all good. That is all good. But I think that's it for the main story, right? I want to do one more battle. I want to do one more battle. Maybe we'll, we'll wait out the cutscene. Maybe start start with some post game stuff for today's video. Give you guys a little bit of extra content. If this is the end, but I think it is. I think the cutscenes are gonna roll here. I think the cutscenes are going to roll here. Got my boys walking out. We did everything. We did everything. But when we get started on the what's called, it's really really cool. The post game, the beginning of the post game is really, really fun. Look at me, do a little smirk. We look back at Temple work. Like, yeah, we did. We just did that. We just did that. <laughs> we just did that. But yo, dude, this game was phenomenal. There's the credits. That is the end of the main story. Like I said, I thought it was gonna take us a little bit longer. It only took us about 10 minutes. So you know what? I'm just gonna uh, roll over to the post game. We're gonna get started with that. I think we can give you guys a little bit of uh, extra content because I, I do not like to make short videos. So let's do that. Let's get rolling with the post game. So guys, the credits have rolled and we have waken up in our bed so we can actually leave. And this is my favorite part about chilling in the room. Look at this. Once you step off the platform of your room, you put on your sandals. Look at that. <laughs> bare feet sandals. Bare feet sandals. But you got a little chest here if you guys want to grab items. But we can now make our way out back into the town and see what we have to do to get started with the post game. Post game is really fun because it's pretty much whatever you want to do. And once the credits roll, you get a, uh, a little message from Arceus from your Arc phone, and it says seek out all the Pokemon. So if you want to see Arceus, you have to complete the Pokedex in this game, which I think is so, so cool. It is super, super cool. Super, super dope. Super, super cool. So we're going to go here. And Akari's going to come out here. She's going to make AOG. Head to the Survey Corps to discuss what to do next. But if you guys want a little sneak peek of where, uh, where a little unknown is, come back here. Look at my dude, just chilling right there on the little hangar. So if you guys are looking for that unknown, he's just chilling there. There's one right there. And there's a few on this place, which I can show you guys where at. Might be one over here. I feel like there's one over here on this roof, but I could be wrong. Jeans could be wrong. Is it over on this roof? I do not see. It. It's all good. We thrive in here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to make a guide with the unknown to so let you guys know where all of them are at. So we're going to head here to the survey corps with Akari. How you doing? Where's Akari at? How you doing, girl? What up? And we got uh, Silene over here. So I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. I did indeed. I did indeed. And the festival they're talking about is they throw a little festival at the end of the cutscene. There's just like a little picture showing all the people at the festival. Blah, 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 blah. Really do not. It's it's legit just a picture. It's not like cutscene where it's partying. <clears throat> but, yo, know, this this person still has a bunch of work on her desk. So I don't, I don't know why why they're talking to us, telling us to put it. Look at all those papers. <laughs> Look at all those papers. We got my boy Bolo over here. Bolo plays a huge part in the post game. Probably the biggest part. I think he kind of leads us throughout the post game. Well, it was kind of like a little character during the main game, just like chilling there, being our merchant. And then he kind of just like, hey, pops out of nowhere. And he's a huge part in the what's called, in the post game. So now we get the mission of the research of the myths for the post game. And Volo's like, hey, yo, I need you to meet me somewhere. We got to discuss. So meet Volo at the Heights camp in the Obsidian Fields. And look at this. We got my boy Lucario just chilling there, yo. <laughs> Lucario's chilling there. And he does do a little side mission with him. So if you guys want to complete the side missions, make sure you talk to my boy Lucario. But from now... We're just going to go over here, back to the Heights camp. And these guys look like Volo. They just have the same outfit as them. <laughs> same outfit as my dude Volo. Let's get moving here to the Heights camp. Get started with the post game. Post game, let's do it. Let's do it. Like I said, I didn't want to give you guys a short episode. I did not think I was going to finish that that quick. I could have just jammed that in on, on the last episode. Because last episode was like 30 minutes. So like, <laughs> I could have just threw that in there. Because this was like 10 minutes long. I was just like, bro, we have to give we have to give the Jeans viewership more content. I went to the wrong camp. We gotta go to the uh, heights camp, which I'm just gonna fast travel to, and meet Volo there and see what he wants. Let's see what my dude wants. Hi, Volo. How you doing? I'm over here, buddy. How you doing, buddy, old pal? What's goody? But look at this, yo. We got a little ancient ruins behind him. And I don't think they were there beforehand. Look, all the ancient ruins are a bunch of legendary Pokemon. I see Palkia, I see Regigigas, I see Arceus. Who else do I see there? Dialga. 
Jack Garatina. Oh, we got Uxi as Elf and Mesh Print. Really, really cool. I always like looking at the uh, the Ancient Romans and kind of just like picking out and uh, noticing which uh, legendary it is. But that's a huge part of the post game is catching the legendaries. I think that does he give me the mission or Kakita? Someone's going to give me the mission to catch all the legendaries because each legendary has a plate within it. They have a plate within it. So maybe we'll catch a few today or maybe we can do them all tomorrow or next video. Could do that. Could do that. We'll see. We'll see where this ends up at. But we're gonna go here, and he, or we're gonna have to go towards uh, where is it? The grueling curve, which is all the way over here. So you know, I have the bird. Let's make life ten times easier for us. Pop up here and, eat and get zoomed because the bird is OP. The bird is definitely OP. And instead of going onto this uh, cliff, I do not want to touch it because I want to try to do this in one smooth motion. Not land. There's no way we make it there without it. No shot. Cause you can't fly up with the bird. That would be awesome. If you could fly up with the bird, man, yo, it'd be GG's. I'd be just whipping this bird around town. <laughs> but imagine just like uh, chilling in the village and just seeing some guy gliding around on a braviary. Like it's only me. They're probably sitting like, up oh, there's Jeans again, flying around with his braviary. Look at this. We did this in pretty much one go. One go, right to Volo. We are chilling here. How you doing, buddy? We make our way towards the grueling groove. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hi, Volo. How you doing, dude? Now, Jeans, according to my own investigations, an alpha best queen. I think I had to catch this or I had to kill it. One or the other. We whip up on this thing. Oh, we're just battling straight up with it. I'm going to take this thing out. Ah, beautiful. Yo, I have my Typhlosion as a lead. Look at my dude. He's suing Typhlosion. This thing's level 60. I'm just going to He's going to tell it to get out of my face. I could overheat it, but Flamethrower is going to be good. Flamethrower. I don't know how bulky this is. Yeah, it's pretty bulky. So I can strong style overheat next turn and take it out. And we do get the burn. Mwah, beautiful. This seems to need strong style. Oh, this kind of scared me. How, oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Use a rock move on me. Out of nowhere, this thing's flying and bugging, just ripping up with power. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. But from here, I'm just gonna rip up Braviary. Go to a strong style Brave Bird. Tell us. Aim for you. Do not need it. Let's do it. Strong style Brave Bird. We are gonna take some mean recoil damage, but more importantly, this should KO the Super Look at this, dude. Brave Bird's so sick. Oh my god, yo. It looks so sick. Take him out, no problem. We'll take the recoil damage all day. Give me that XP. How much XP are you going to give me? Not bad. Can Volo please uh, heal up my Typhlosion? Because I feel like I always leave Typhlosion in battles. And then he dies and then I don't get that much XP for him. Because he's dead. But there we go. We just obtained another plate, which is a stone plate. And that's a huge thing. It's a uh, post game. You want to collect all the plates. And a lot of the legendaries have the plates. So you got to travel the worlds and uh, find all the plates for to, in order to go get Arceus. The one and only Mistress Kagito. Yeah, we gotta go back to Kagito, and that is at the Ancient Retreat, so we can actually just straight up fast travel from that. But we have to go here and then do it from there. But let's suck it for material, so I'm gonna go here, then I'm, I'm gonna wait, see if that pokes out. And is there anything on this island? I feel like there's an unknown on this island, right? There's gotta be something on this island. Let me see if there's an unknown on this island. Just to let you guys know. Let's see. This tree, maybe? Oh yeah, there is one! Look at him! <laughs> right in the top left corner, he's just chilling there. He's just chilling. I'm not going to catch it because, like I said, I want to make a guide. So I want to actually be able to follow him on guide. So I'm just going to leave him there. If I see him, if I know where one's at, I'm definitely going to let you guys know and show where he's at. There's one chilling right out on a tree. Unknowns are so cool. I, I love it so much. I love how they uh, implemented the unknowns. They're really, really dope. But we're going to sleep up just to heal up my Typhlosion. And then we're going to go head back to the Mistress Kagito. And hopefully my boy. Oh, my God, dude. I hate trying to leave and Lavington pull me back. Like, oh, let me check out what you did. Dang, yo. We got combis and all that. Why did we get a combi and Apom? Then we got Palkia. But I think we just couldn't put in our survey report because we were at the temple and all that. That's fine. That is fine. And yo, look at that. We got a star rank. Awesome. We got a star rank, so now we can actually head back there. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to return to the village. We're going to get our next star rank, and then we're going to head over to Kagita. Kagita. New star rank, baby. Out of nowhere. We'll take star rank number six. Let's go. Let's go over to it. Let's go over to it. And I kind of switched my outfit, but I really do like playing through this uh, playthrough with this outfit. It's just super, super sick. I think it's dope. Right? I think it's super sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Saline. Well, it's good, mommy. Let me, uh, I gotta show you something. I gotta show you that I'm done. And I'm done with this. Made progress. Bang. Extra star rank. Wow, we haven't gotten a star rank in a couple episodes. We'll take that all day, but there's six. I think, I think eight. Every Pokemon will obey, obey you, and then I do not know what 9 and 10 is. 
do not know what 910 is, but there you go. You get a nice, lovely new recipe for uh, max potions and ultra balls, which are two really, really good things. Really, really good items. And since we're in post game, we could talk to Lavatin and we can get lovely Rallet. He'll give us Rallet and he will give us Ashwater. So, whichever starters you don't pick, once you do the credits roll, you can go over to Lavatin. He'll be like, hey, yo, take this one. So, if you're looking for him, that's how you get it. If not, you'll just check out the Gene Starter Guide. We have a guide on the starters, on all the starters, on where to get them. How to get them, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. You know, jeans ain't gonna let you hang in with the guides, man. I wanna bring out as many guides as I can, but I think next one I'm gonna do is gonna be It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna head over to the ancient retreat and talk to the mistress, Kagita, again. And she's gonna let us know about where the other plates are. Let's go over here and get talking to her. And I feel like there should be an unknown here. I don't know why. I just feel like there should be. I don't know if I should look around. I, don't, I really don't wanna waste my time. So we're gonna head inside her house, barge into her house, like, hey, yo, where the mother plates at, lady? Where the mother plates at? And how you in your home dressing like that? That's gotta be uncomfortable. All giddied up. I know Volo's back's hurting. He, he legit sits there with that, that thing on his back all day. <laughs> but she's gonna talk about the ancient fragments, all that good stuff, all the plates, and how to get them. And she's gonna eventually give us a mission to catch pretty much all the legendaries in the game. Reggie Gagas, Heatran, uh, Cresselia, Uxi, Azelf, Mesprin. And I think there might be one more. I think there's one more. I'm not too sure, but there we go. We're going to talk to her about all these, and she is going to give us all these. So we're going to talk about the three lake Pokemon, and we just did that, and she gave us the three lake quest, and then we talk about the volcano. She's going to give us the Heatran quest, which is awesome, and then we're going to talk to her about the Crescent Moon, going to give us the, uh, the Cresselia quest. Then we're going to talk about the Temple Giant. They're going to give us the Reggie Gigas quest, and then last one is the beginning. Which legendary is this? The Plate of Prelude Beach. I don't think there's a legendary here. I think I think we just have to go to a Prelude Beach. Never mind. Yeah, I do not I do not think there's a legendary there. But she gives us all these quests. And you know what? I'm gonna do the Prelude Beach one before we finish off today's video. I think that's a great way to finish off today's video. And I think we have to verse up on uh Commander Kamado again. So maybe we'll give that a try. Maybe we will give that a try and go do the Prelude Beach one. I do like that. I do like it. So let's do that. And then the next episode we can just snag up on all the legendaries. My boy, my boy Volo meets me out here, gives us a little good luck, and he's like, hey, go grab those plates because he is a, uh, he wants us, he's, he's helping us out. He's helping us out, I should say, right now. He's just helping us out. He is just chilling here, helping out the boy. But let's go here, let's go into our map, go to my missions and requests, and let's switch it to the Prelude Beach one. So, actually, it's already on, so we're going to go ahead to the Prelude Beach. We're going to get ripping up there. We are going to get ripping up there, and it's actually good that I actually put this all the way back here. I do like that. And is it just going to send me the Prelude Beach? No, it pulls me all the way back here. Got another cutscene. There's my boy. Commander Kamado. I had a message from Mr. Uh, Kamado. I'm, telling, I'm told you're collecting plates of some sort from the Merchant Volo. What's he going to say? Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. I got you, man. I got you. So Prelude Beach is actually the first spot in the game that you ever go to. It's where you land, it is where you wake up at. So It's kind of cool how it's, uh, they're making me backtrack and go all the way over there. And since we are backtracking, I can show you guys where another unknown spot is. Another lovely unknown spot. So if you guys make your way all the way back towards Prelude Beach, you just keep going back, back, back. But right at this little gate here, if you look at the front of it, there should be an unknown just chilling at the top. So come over here. I can go right here. And bang. Unknown chilling right up there. So if we wanted it, we could just throw a Pokeball at it. But like I said, I'm waiting to do it all in one video to give you guys a perfect guide on where to get it. But there might be another unknown lurking in this area. If, I, if I'm correct, there might be. Not not 100% positive. But this is a spot where we, ca we captured Oshawott, Rowlet, and Cyndaquil in the practice field. And like I said, all the way back here is going to be the spot where we actually landed into this, this village and got started with the, with the game. Do, 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 do. Prelude Beach, Prelude Beach. Do, do, do. And yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no legendary here. Oh, but there is a wisp. I'll take that wisp all day. I'll take this wisp all day. I wish we kind of had our, our Pokemon because I can make my way up here. Can I still like make my way up here? Uh, there's an invisible wall. I was going to say. That'd be pretty cool if we can make our way all on top of it. Good stuff. But no, we cannot. We cannot. So we instead we go over here. And this view is actually really cool. Imagine if you could surf out onto an ocean like this. That'd be tough. Like I said, the, the next Pokemon is going to be phenomenal. The next Pokemon game, Gen 9, is going to be insane. But yeah, we have to... Uh, Versus Commander Kamado one last time here. This will be the last time we versus a student, and he's gonna throw out a lovely little golem. And of course, yo, 
we have typhlosion oh no we have cleaver out okay that's not too good i mean we can close combat that thing that might take it out we're not gonna go for it might as well he's gonna go first beautiful can i agile into a i was gonna say can i agile into a close combat to make sure we kill this thing but we're just gonna go for close combat or defense task and drop this thing to take me out no problem all right full restores he full restores that's fine i do it now sword dance i'm trying to sword dance into an agile shot and then go into a close combat our defense stats are dropped. Once he hits us, we are dead. Stone Edge coming in here. Bye, Cleaver. Thanks for coming out. We do have Pal get ready to roll, so we might have to use that, that thing today. But I'm going to try to use my other Pokemon. So for the meantime, we're bringing out our lovely Kasui and Voltorb. He's going to go next. You guys know this. This thing plays new. Energy Ball poking out here. Beep. Later, Gollum. Later, buddy. Later, Skater. Let's see. He goes into a Snorlax. I could have rocked that with close combat. Here. Fire Punch coming in here. Bye, Voltorb. Ah, uh, dang you. Commander Commander's Pokemon. Really, really strong. Really, really strong. Uh, who can we go into from here? I don't like this Palkia. Princess. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. Yo, we have Palkia. Let's showcase it. Let's show it. Look at this dude. <laughs> Dude's enormous. You thought Snorlax was big. You thought Snorlax was big. We're going to a spatial run. Use this move. Wow. Woo! Looks so sick. Looks so sick. He's going to call back Snorlax. Who's he going to go into? Who is he going to go into? A Fable. Fable's kind of scary. Fable is definitely kind of scary, but I could just go into a nice little Aqua Tail. What stats are better for him? Let's go back here. Let me, let me check this thing's stats. Do you have physical attack? Oh, no. They're both special attacking moves. Never mind. What am I doing? Oh, no. What's physical? Aqua Tail's physical. I'm right. Change is right. Don't second guess yourself, buddy. I'll check this thing's summary. I'll see if it's special or physical attacks better. Special attack. Wow. So Hydro Pump is going to be good. You're going to Hydro Pump onto the thing. And we miss! How dare you? How dare you? Training kiss. Ah, oh, that's scary. I want to swap this thing. Let's have my Sligoo. We're still going into high Can we connect it? Thank you very much. Beano. Going that thing. Big old damage. Give, us, give me one more turn. Training kiss. Get higher. And he's going to get some ton of HP. Can I go into an agile shot? Might be able to. Agile will give us two turns. Go into an agile earth power and then we'll hit this thing with a hydro. Try to take it out. Get him. Earth power. Wheel. I'm just saying, really good. Not bad, yo. Hydro pump should be able to take this thing out, right? Connect it. Connect it, please. Let's go. Take it out. I need Clefable. Clefable's big trouble. Let's go. That's a huge KO. That's a huge KO for us. Let's come down to the wire. I do have some revives. I do have a max revive that someone can use. Which I might have to send here. Nox is going to take us out with a giga impact. And I think he's going to be gone for next turn, right? Which could be lovely. It could be lovely for us because Snorlax is a pain. Uh, from here, we still have our basket. Oh, we do have our Typhlosion. Try to put a burner on this thing. Try to put a burner on this thing. Let's bring out our Typhlosion here. And we only got one turn here. Go through a flamethrower. Flamethrower. Give me a burn. Show me burn. Burn him up. Chip him up. No burn. What you hey! High horsepower coming in hot. Okay. Basket might be able to clutch up. What are we going to? Tough battle. Tough battle. Uh, we could go into you. Not too bad. No, you are not too bad here. He is rocking high horse powers. So. I'm gonna rock it with you. And I could use a max revive. I believe I have one. Let me check. I do indeed. This would go towards Palkia. Come here. I could just go for regular air slash, and I could get two turns out of this. Air slash can poke. How much damage are we gonna do? Brave Bird. Let's just Brave Bird it. Let's finish this thing off with a Brave Bird. Brave Bird should do enough damage to get out my face and relax, right? Let's go. Big KO there. Coming down to a 2v2 situation, but I think he gets first turn. And like I said, I have the max revive, so if I want to heal Palkia, that's going to be the way to go. With Clefable out of this situation, it would be a great play for us. So he's going to bring out Brave Viari of his own, going to an Esper Wing. And we're going to be able to hook that up. Esper Wing so And he gets two turns. You son of a biscuit. Hey! Was that a crit? That was not a crit. Um, I could go into a Roost here. Double Edge. Could go into a Brave Bird. But you know what? I'm just going to take this turn to heal up my Palkia. Palkia is getting used on. Level 65, we gotta send it. We gotta max revive him. Palkia recovered from fainting, and Brave is gonna go and. Can we eat that? Oh, I was gonna say, if we could eat that, that would be beautiful. But it probably would have gotten two turns. Great turn from him. I could go in the basket with the crunch. We are ghost type. We're gonna go into Palkia here. Gotta go into Palkia here. Palkia is definitely my play. Palkia is definitely my play. We're gonna go into Palkia, and we can just start dropping special runs, which is amazing. Signature move, and we. Dude, stop it! Stop missing these moves, dude. Stop missing these moves. Esper Wings can come in here. Should be able to soak that up. 
No problem. Oh my lord. Critical hit. Get out of my face. What's up? Love you, Palkia. Uh, can we go into like a agile shot? Yeah, we can go into an agile shot here. Do some damage and then we're going to chip up with the strong style move. Yup. Get him. That's big damage. That's a crit. That's lovely. Go into this. We got we to make sure this lands. It lands. That should take him out. No problem. Let me take him out all day. Who is his last Pokemon? Show it. Hopefully it's something that my basket you can just pump on. Good battle, Yoda. Finish off. It's going to be a Heracross. That is scary. Heracross. Oh, no. He can't hit me with a fighting move because I do have Ghost. I'm going to go for a pin missile. All right. My dog's going to come out here. Let's get a basket. Agent. Let's get it, dude. Let's get a basket. Agent. We do have Zen Headbutt. Agile Styles. 100% the play. Should have went for strong style. Eat this up. Eat this up. Eat this up. Eat it up all day. Oh my god, Splinter's digging to him. Okay, that should be game. Let's go for strong style. Raise the accuracy, dude. We missed our first one, but that's GG's. We switched to strong style. Then headbutt's 100 percent accuracy. Get out my face. Thank the Lord we didn't lose that battle. That would have been rough. That would have been real rough. But there it is, guys. We defeated the Prelude Beach Quest. Defeat Commander Commander for the last time. That was such a good battle. But I can't believe dude, I missed how many attacks I missed? Three, four? Three or four, and Master Legion's soaking up all that XP. Gets 10,182 and gets that level up. Level 62, which is awesome. I definitely gotta level up my Pokemon, but now that we're in post game, we gotta just run around and do what we want. There's really no other battles to do, but there we go. We receive our first plate, which is gonna be the fit. Well, not our first plate, our first plate for the post game, which is gonna be that lovely little fist plate. Actually, second plate for the post game. First one with the missions. The other one was just like defeat that Vessel Queen. Of all. Was just like, Here you go. Take this plate. Take this lovely plate. But he says how it's fortunate that he that he, that he served with us. I'm like, yes, sir. Good battle. Thank you for the plate. And we complete the mission. Beautiful, dope. And now our only other thing is to collect all the other plates by catching all the le other legendaries. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We collected our first plate and defeated our first mission for the post game. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that bigger subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be continuing on with the post game, collecting the rest of the plates and collecting a bunch of legendaries. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.